In this video I'm going to show you how you can find low competition keywords on YouTube and it will be easier for you to rank on YouTube first page. You will get more traffic to your pages or offers and you can grow your channel faster. If you stay until the end I'm also going to show you how you can fast track the whole process of keyword research and also give you a done for you keyword research sheet that you can use every single time to just save your keywords and filter out to know which ones perform the best. So stay tuned if you would like to check that out. Hi, I'm Hugo from OATech.com and if you are a content creator struggling to rank your videos on YouTube, then you should keep watching. In the traditional sense of SEO, low competition keywords are those that can rank with little to no link building and little to no domain authority. This applies to YouTube in the sense that, again, to rank for those keywords, you don't need to have a big authority channel, meaning a channel that's big, that has a lot of subscribers, a lot of social signals, such as likes, shares and everything like that. If you have a relatively small channel on YouTube it will be very hard for you to rank for high competition keywords as it still has low authority and social proof. If there are already a ton of videos ranking for those keywords it will again be very hard to rank for them right? Your best bet is to focus on low competition keywords with decent search volume. This means that they are low competition but there are people still looking for those videos or those solutions to their problems and by doing so you will Will improve your chances of ranking on YouTube's first page of a specific term, which means more traffic and more sales and more likes, shares and views. To start your keyword research process, you will need to first generate a list of keywords. You can do this easily by using what is called the YouTube search suggest feature by just typing a keyword or a phrase on the YouTube search and then YouTube will give you a bunch of keywords related to your search. And this is by using YouTube search suggest feature. Going e even further, you can keep your main keyword and phrase and then start adding letters from the alphabet and go from A to Z to see if you find even more related keywords. So for example, I am on the internet marketing and make money online niche. I can go for how to make money and then if I type a space, I will see a ton of suggestions. Some might be related to it, others might be from other niches as well. And then I can go more in depth as I said by just pressing A and then I'll find a bunch of ideas, B and I'm going to still get a lot of related keywords, C and so on to get a lot of those. And then the relevant keywords, keywords that are relevant for your niche, you will need to save them on a list and your list might look something like this. So this is my list. This is where I pretty much just put the keywords, which I'm going to use on the title, then followed by the competition, then score. This is overall score and then monetization ideas, URL and then status. This is so that I can also use the previous videos to suggest them on my own videos or put them on the description. After pouring your eyes out, finding suggestions, you can filter them out and see what are the best that you have come up with. For this step, you will need a tool such as vidIQ or TubeBuddy to be able to see how much competition and volume your keywords have. Some keyword tools such as eSearch will allow you to do this type of search more efficiently, but you can start with vidIQ or TubeBuddy, which are free. As you can see, I already have vidIQ IQ installed and this pretty much shows you a scorecard on the right as you can see right here and this will show you the volume that a specific keyword has that you've entered on the search and also the competition. This is currently displaying for how to make money which is a very general keyword very broad as you can see which means that it has a lot of volume but very high competition. You can use a lot of different metrics. I actually use the overall score and then the competition but I use it the number instead of the medium so in my list as you can see I have the competition and I put VL for very low, low would be an L, M and then high an H and then very high VH and then followed by the score, overall score which is that number which is shown right here which is out of 100 and then I would put it on my list and then after doing this with a bunch of keywords I would select the whole column like this or 
just by selecting the first one and then hitting shift and going to the last of your keywords and then order this score by column from Z to A, which would be from the highest to the lowest. And this will give you an overall idea of the best keywords that you can start using right away. Now, if you use key search, you can opt into the YouTube tab, enter your keyword, and then instantly take a look at the score and similar videos if you want to get ideas for the content itself, tags or more. So I go here, I have put make money with, which is also the same main keyword. And then it will show you a bunch of options depending on your plan. You can have multiple features or access to multiple features right here. I'm on the free version to show you guys. And then you can click on check to check the score. On this tab, you also have YouTube difficulty and YouTube list. So you can go right here, click on check, and this will show you the score. And as you can see, this one has 63, 72, and this is relative to the difficulty. So it will display all of the main uh, YouTube videos on that specific keyword. Again, if you want to get ideas, you can open those on a new tab and take a look at them, see what tags they are using, what type of content they have created, and you can easily get inspiration for those as well. And you can take a look at the search trends right here to know if those are up to date so you have multiple sets that you can use to in the end filter out your best keywords if i show you this example which is make money with canvas you can see right here it has a 41 score which is pretty good it means that it doesn't have a lot of competition right here as you can see competition is moderate and this is using the youtube suggest so this also uses the YouTube suggest. However, it is mess much faster and easier to use. You can again take a look at the competition, age, the views, the title match, and also the death match. The title match would work for mentioning the specific keyword on the title. And then you can take a look at the score right here very quickly. You can also get a ton of ideas for keywords as you saw previously by just entering a general keyword. So if you enter a general keyword on key search, on the YouTube research, it will show you a bunch of keywords as you can see a huge list of keywords right here this is much faster and easier because you can go here and just sort them out by score and everything like that by volume so if you sort them by score it will show you the the ones that have less competition and then you can use the compare or you can just straight download those and bam you have already a list of keywords with the competition as well so you can download the csv file a pdf a text or just copy those into your google sheet if you want to and you also have the bulk check right here so this would work if you are looking for a specific keyword that doesn't show the score right away and as you can see this saves a lot of time and work when compared with the manual work that you would have to do to copy paste the keyword to youtube and then using vidiq to check out if it has a lot of competition and volume or not once that's done you will now have a lot of ideas and keywords to use on your future youtube videos those can be included on your title so you would need to include your main keyword on the title for the best results possible and so the title is the most important but you can also mix it up with other words to incentivize clicks so if i have how to find low competition keywords on youtube in 2021 or for beginners and you still include the main keyword then that's how you should proceed and you can also use the same concept to find keywords for your tags your description and everything like that and it is a pretty cool strategy this also aligns with something which is called the blue ocean strategy as well so you are trying to rank for low keywords and instead of going for the keywords that have huge amounts of volume but have tons and tons of competition which are pretty hard to rank for if you like the video make sure to subscribe by clicking on the button below the video and you can check the description to get your ready to use google sheet for youtube keyword research if you are using the manual method or you can get a 20 percent of discount using the code k s disk for keyword search by clicking on the link in the description of this video and just let me know in the comments if you are going to use or try this strategy and let me know if you get good results with it so with that being said that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching and i'll hopefully see you on the next one bye bye